Hi guys, this is Rocky, and we are here in Roseville, California. Uh, we're here as Oath Keepers at 3% and CVP, and I'm going to turn the camera around so that you guys can see. And yeah, let them stay at your house, bro. Okay, so we are here in Roseville, California. We are in front of BJ's Restaurant here at Creekside and we've got all kinds of good patriots going on. Anything you want to say to the public there, brother? Um, not right now. Not right now. I'm interested yet. Right, we just got here. We just got here. And so we're here. Uh, Oath Keepers has been called to help keep the peace. And what we're doing is there's, uh, hi Ernie, hi Caroline. Uh, we're here to keep the peace. So there is a bunch of people that have already uh, gathered and so you see the green hats over there those are the lawyers for antifa and all those guys so the green hats right there bunch of lawyers so they'll be filming us and they'll be doing all that happy stuff and my brother here's got my back uh as of right now i'm the only female here so you know it'd be really nice to have you guys come out and show us some support um uh, we got We the People, we've got Bikers for Trump. Just got bikers. We just got bikers. Uh, I'm live streaming, would you like to say anything? Say what? No. No, no, okay, I don't put your face on camera. I work for a school, so I've got to be careful. Gotcha, gotcha, no worries, no worries. Okay, so these guys across the street right here are wearing masks, they've already doned up. Uh, I was told by the local PD last night that there's no flags and all that stuff, so I told our guys to put their flags away, but we see their flags out, and so we've brought our flags out, and so our guys are, are doning their flags, and we've got, we've got all kinds of people out here, but these guys over here are probably going to be the most radical. Uh, I was told that these guys over here, this is their play sandbox, this is our sandbox here. These guys over here are supposedly the peaceful Muslim supporters. Don't get it. I, I, it's not, it, I don't get it. Anyway, so what they're doing is they're walking uh, around the corners and we heard over there earlier that they're going to try to take all four corners the local PD is saying absolutely not you're going to stay on your own corners and we have a permit for um, to be here and I think they do as well so Roseville California outside the Fountain Mall and it's still early. This wasn't supposed to start until 10 o'clock. Uh, we've been up since, we've been here since six. So I got no sleep last night, but that's all good. Uh, you can see their crowd is growing substantially and their crowd has grown substantially. And this is a very busy intersection. Uh, ABC News, talked to me earlier and there's a sheriff right there so they'll be patrolling pretty heavy this is a very busy intersection and uh, the local PD is going to keep everybody separated ABC News talked to me earlier today and wanted to know what was going on you know he was playing like he didn't know and all that good stuff so it's all good that guy's probably filming us too he's walking around like he's filming us so, you know, it's just uh, regular stuff, and here comes one of their lawyers over here to probably scope us out. So they're really easy to spot. Yep, she's going to record. Yep, there she goes. So they like to take our pictures. They like to get in our face and take our pictures so that they can post it and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah got some awesome bikers out here today got some awesome people got our backs and stand up to racism okay I, I guess that's what we're doing isn't it that isn't that what we're doing so they're all gonna be recording us recording them recording us
There are 26 uh, rallies throughout the United States. I think Roseville is probably going to be the most peaceful. I'm live streaming. You guys want to say anything about the group or? No. Do you want to? You want to tell us? Tell my audience who you guys are. So you've got American Civil Defense here, and you guys do do what? Uh, what we do is we come out and we provide security for people ex exercising their constitutional yeah, rights. Yeah, I, I, I looked at him when I was coming around the corner. Yeah. I was like, oh, look, one NT is too ashamed to show his face. Let's, he's talking too loud. Let's get over here. So go ahead and tell me who you are and what you're about. Uh, our group comes out and we provide security um, at a protest like this one for people who want to exercise their constitutional rights. Um, you know, we get tired of seeing people get beat up and and uh, taken advantage of uh, just for their uh, political views. Right, right. So we're here for the barrier in between them. You're a buffer. Yes, we're a buffer. And uh, so, you know, this is it's like a, a buffer on my AR-15. I don't get beat up very easily. So, you know. And did you, were you guys the one that brought the uh, medic? Um, yeah, uh, myself is uh, CLS trained. Oh, okay. So, so I'm the medic for our uh, group here. And what I was telling ABC News earlier is that when we were in Berkeley, it didn't matter who it was. If they were wounded, we grabbed them, brought in it, man, and yeah, triaged we helped, them. Yeah, we helped quite a few people there. Um, you know, I was uh, yelled at quite a few times for uh, picking up some Antifa girls off the floor from getting kicked in uh, from a couple gentlemen. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not... I, I'm for everybody's rights. It's human rights too, you know. But yep. But uh, re regardless of what side you're on or what your political view is, um, I'll lend a hand. Right, yeah. right. And and I really want to put that out there too. And like I was telling the guy from ABC News, it doesn't matter. And and just like Berkeley, it didn't matter if they were Antifa, pro-Trump, anti-Trump. If somebody was hurt, we brought them in. It didn't matter who they were and triaged them. Yep. Yeah, that's right. We're all humans. We're all Americans, regardless of what we believe in. Yeah. So. You're getting a lot of hearts and a lot of thumbs up here, brother. All right. Well, thank you and uh, uh, pray for us. Yeah. Protection, so. Yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah. Let's uh, keep it peaceful. And what do you not, what do you think of the event today? What do you know about the people that organized the event and about them? Well, you know. Uh, this was kind of last minute yeah, scramble. It's, it's it's a lot last minute. We were set up to go somewhere else, and we had certain circumstances happen, which landed us here in Roseville. Um, you know, it's very early right now to say what is going to happen, but, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're here for anything, so, you know, uh, hopefully it doesn't get too boring, you know. Berkeley was pretty fun, so I don't think it's going to be that interesting, you know, but... Uh, I, I've got my fingers crossed that it's boring as hell, yeah. man. I am so okay with boring. <laughs> so am I, you know. I really am. I, I truly am. Yeah. Anything you want to say to your family, the American people? Uh, you know, I just want to say stand up strong for what you believe in and uh, don't let anybody push you around. And if you are and, uh, you know, you ever want to organize any events or anything, you just uh, get a hold of us. You can Facebook us or something. American Civil Defense and uh, we'll be right there by the fellow sides of our Americans. So. American Civil Defense yeah. Facebook page. They, you can be contacted through them. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And and you're here to help. Yes. Here just to just like Oath Keepers. And and what do you think about the different groups that have pulled together today? Because we are. Can you name some of the groups that we have today? Uh, you know, we got um, uh, Oath Keepers. We worked with last time at uh, Berkeley, and uh, you know we had we had a great time there, and we, our groups worked well together. Uh, we had some uh, three percenters we worked with. I seen their hair as well, um, and then uh, you know we got uh, American Civil Defense. I think that's all who's here right now. Um, I don't think the uh, two million bikers have made it. But, uh, as of that, that's all who's here right now. So we've all worked together before, so right. I know what to expect from each other. I think we, I think we worked together pretty good in Berkeley. I, I was really impressed with how all of us pulled together, put our differences aside. I, I really want to emphasize that that, you know, it was it was all about teamwork. 
you know, it was all about teamwork. Yeah, so exactly, you know, awesome. Every last speaker got to speak in Berkeley, and that was yep. our goal. Yep. You know, and uh, yep. yeah, there was some people hurt, but those were the guys out there doing their thing. And we, right. We were just there for the speaker. We were there for security. And right. We're doing here. Right. Well, I, I, when I pulled up in the parking lot and I saw all the blue shirts, my heart just lifted. My heart just lifted. You know. USA, USA. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, brother. All right, yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. you have a good day. Awesome. Do you mind if I if I get your signs on live streaming? Okay. Uh, so we've got Islamophobia made up to force us to obey Sharia and Sharia ban laws. Uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Do you mind? Okay, who, who are you, why are you here, and uh, what do you think of this event? Uh, my name is Sharon, I'm with Act for America, and uh, currently against Sharia law, it's, uh, they're barbarian laws. Kiss? So Act is? Act for America, um, Act is basically, uh, we make people aware of what Islam really is. Okay. Like Sharia law, political Islam, and which is mostly Islam. Act is the ones that called us to come help and provide security, correct? I think so. Okay, I, I, that's why we're here, we were called. I, keep, I got <laughs> so. the word from Act for America. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Well, what do you think of all uh, the guys that showed up to help protect you? <laughs> right? Yeah, there's some pretty awesome people here, truly. It, uh, what I generally ask everybody is, is anything you want to say to your family or the American people? You gotta stop being silent. You gotta speak up against Sharia. You gotta get it out of our school's textbooks. And um, you can go online to Act for America and look at the text, uh, do a search in textbooks, and you'll find where they are brainwashing our kids with pro propaganda about Islam. And that's not it. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you guys called us and let us know that you were going to be here so that we can help keep the peace, too. Yeah, I'm glad you guys Yeah, yeah. So thanks for thinking of us, you know. So I don't know if you can hear them, but they're saying no KKK, no fascist. Uh, we don't have uh, KKK in our group over here. If we find out that they're extremist in any way, they're thrown out of the groups. Uh, I can speak on behalf of Oath Keepers. We do not allow that. If you know of anybody that's uh, KKK or uh, white supremacist or anything extremist like that, uh, let us know. We'll get rid of them. Uh, obviously through proof. We're not just going to, you know, there's a, a jury of 12 kind of thing going on there. You know, there's got to be proof. So uh, we've got the, the Ber uh, Berkeley, Roseville PD right there. They've got their canine unit out. Uh, we've uh, we've been in touch with, I've been in touch with the, uh, no, you know what? I'm going to, I saw the, the mad face for the PD. They're actually working with us. And I've heard a lot of good things by the people that were born and raised here in Roseville. And they say that they, they do a pretty good job. So I'm going to, as of right now, I'm giving them kudos because uh, they're doing their best to make this peaceful. Uh, they've set down some ground rules that I totally agree with. And they may or may not be coming and taking everybody's sticks and stuff. So our guys have been told to be ready to put their their uh, poles away uh, you can see that a lot of our guys didn't break them out because we were told uh, no poles anything that can be used as a weapon now we do have a couple guys that have uh, canes and use canes and stuff like that so I let the I let the I keep wanting to say Berkeley the Roseville PD uh, they are aware that a couple of our guys are uh, disabled and actually have canes so uh, they, they kind of have to work with us on that because we do have an older crowd. And, and the younger crowd, they don't have jobs. And so the parking lot over there is getting uh, full. I see a bunch over there. I see a lot of the green hats. So the green hats are uh, 
lawyers on behalf of these guys. I mean, you know what? I wish these guys would put in the effort to uh, protect the Bundys and the Hammonds and do something about Lavoy, Lavoy Fenicum, you know, and the Bundy family and the Hammonds. If these guys put their effort into that, that'd be really cool, you know, just saying, just saying. Love thy neighbor. There you go. And there's the uh, the PD there. So I, I'm going to stick up for the PD today, guys. So don't don't be bashing. And I talked to somebody yesterday, and uh, they're they're uh, they're patrolling. I talked to somebody yesterday, and I'm kind of a I'm kind of a little bit of a. a ass hat and there is a FBI headquarters here and I was gonna go pick up my check for being an informant but uh, I just ordered pizza instead but I, I thought you guys would love that <laughs> what do you guys think about me going to the FBI headquarters and demanding my check I should live stream that what do you guys think of that right that's what I'm talking about uh, yeah and then my friend that I was talking to yesterday he says, now what are you going to do if they hand you a check? I said, I'm going to grab that baby and run and go cash it as fast as possible as, before they even realize. So I don't know. I just thought that was funny. I just thought it was freaking hilarious. So you can see where my sense of humor goes on me being a fed. So yeah, in your neck. So yeah, they, they, they're all prepared over there. They have uh, their loudspeaker and everything. And we had ABC News out here earlier. Now you see the PD running these guys off the corner. You see them running them off the corner. Yeah, they can't be hanging out there. And you see one of these guys in uh, covering his face right there. So. They're telling them to get to move, to move it along, move it along, move it along. And that's that's what uh, we were told that they're going to do. They're not going to allow people to congregate right here. And ABC News was telling me, uh, he's like, it, this is a busy intersection. Are you guys going to block it? Absolutely not. None of our guys are going to uh, do anything like that at all. If our guys get uh, get stupid like that, they're going to be told to kick rocks, pound sand, and get the hell out of here. This is a very busy intersection, and we will not. And now, like I told them, I said, if something bad happens and we have to go out and, and grab somebody off the street, yes, we're going to do that. Uh, you know, if we've, we've got a medical situation or something like that, our medics will go out there. Our guys will go out there. You know, but no, absolutely not. We will not block the streets. We will not do that. And you guys can tell how busy this intersection is getting. This is getting, uh, it's getting busy. So. The people! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're not going to want us to be sitting on their plaza thing there, so. Wow, that's retarded. When Muslims are under attack, we're going to stand up and fight back. That's what he's saying on there. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. Anyway, you guys are going to see how busy this intersection is. I mean, it's busy. You've got uh, four, six, six lanes. Three here and three there. So you've got, yeah, I know, how huh? Funny. So. Okay, they're telling them to move it along. Roseville. They're they're not letting them stand on this on the corners. They're making a move. That's awesome. I'm sorry, guys, but the Roseville PD are doing a good job. That's all I can say. They're going to keep 
us safe, safe, keep them safe. Uh, I see three more cars right there. One, two, three. So they're cruising. I was told last night by the lieutenant that. Uh, Cops are in clear. Hand in hand. Cops are in clear. Well, on the Cops back of clear. my helmet, my riot helmet, I have a, an American flag Cops with the blue stripe in it because blue lives matter. Cops so uh, I also have the Oath Keepers uh, thing on the back of my helmet. So Cops maybe I can get one of the guys to. Uh, Show you the back of my helmet. Can you show the guys the back of my helmet? I'm live streaming. If you just hold this and watch the right here. I might have taken the gloves off. No, no, no. You don't have to take your gloves off. You're good. Just hold it like that and then get the back of my helmet. You'll see the camera. And then I want to show this right here. You guys see the back of my helmet? Oh, no, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's the camera. Okay, now look in there to make sure it gets to the back of my helmet. All right. Awesome. Anything, anything you want to say to the American public? Come on out and join us. Now, I want to... Can I give you kudos for telling me you got my back? This 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 young man right here, he's like Rocky, I got your back, man. And he's been like on me like like flies on poo, man. So, you know guys that I'm the big pile of poo and he's he's my hero right now because this this guy's got my back. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> he's so dang ornery. Awesome. Anything you want to say? Come out. Why you, You're missing out. Why you got my back, brother? Why you got my back? My friends are on here, so tell them why you got my back. Looking across the street to tell you why I got your back. Right? They're all right there. Awesome. I, I love this guy right now, okay? So, yeah, he's he's got my back, and we're all good. Thank you, brother. <laughs> he's a big old grin. Big old grin. Now I am going to say that I saw the crowd over there and our guys can beat up their guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, they ain't got no back. They ain't got no staying power. They ain't got no backbone. You know, and so, you know, I'm going to say to all the pom-pom patriots out there, you know, when you're on your keyboard and talking shit about rocky this and rocky that well i don't see you here man i got my ballistics vest on my riot helmet and my fighting gloves you know uh ready to throw down and if you guys uh you know the ones that are talking shit if you want to come out here and join me and be on the front line uh, you know you're you're more than welcome you're more than welcome to come out here just saying you know, you can come out here and be on the front line with me. You know, have on your ballistics vest, your helmet, and come out here and help us. I'm live streaming. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Okay, I'm going to look at your, uh, your sign here. You want to tell me who you are, why you're here, and what do you think of the event? Well, I'm Deidre, and I'm here just to stand up for women's rights. I can have uh, Sharia law here. Um, I'm not against Muslims, I'm just against the practice of Sharia law. It has no place or basis in our society, or, or it, it is not, it is not, um, it's not okay. Compatible. It's not okay. And, um, female mutil, you know, genital mutilation, not okay. There's a case of, uh, there's, there's lots of cases of it here in the United States. It's not just in other countries it's affecting my, women here um, you know I, I love my country I love my president and I'm here to stand up for that that's why I'm here right right and I want to thank you so much for being here you know uh, are you a part of ACT? 
Um, no, I, I was invited to the event. Um, I just want to show support for our nation and, you know, for, for women, you know, not being abused and oppressed. Oh, there's our guys. There's our guys. Right on. None of you guys better talk bad about them because they're here to protect us. So I just want to let... I'm gonna I'm gonna go introduce myself. Oh, I wanted to introduce myself. Okay. I talked to uh, Lieutenant uh, Newton. Okay. And so I'm in contact with him. And your first name? It's uh, Roxana. Okay. It's Roxana. Okay. So I wanted to let you guys know who I am. You're with Oath Keepers? I'm with Oath Keepers okay. and I'm retired law enforcement. So I want to let you guys know that anybody with the Oath Keeper shirt on has your back as well. Okay, thank you. I just want to, thanks for being here, man. Are you Diana? No, I'm, Diana. I'm, I'm Roxana. She's with Oath. She just came over. She said she's been talking to Newton. I've been uh, in contact with Newton. I'm not going to film you guys. So you're with a over here, correct? I'm with Oath Keepers, yes. Okay. What they want is all those dowels that you guys got. They want the dowels gone and just take the flags off. And, and so dowels go back to the cars. I'll let them know that right the, now. Uh, just the flags so they can't be used as any kind of weapon. Do you mind if I live stream you real fast? Or I don't put your face on if you don't. I, so you it, see it's it, pointed it, that direction. It's, it's a public. I know, but I, I'm respectful, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you very much. All right, so... Okay, they're asking us to get rid of the dowels. Okay, we got to get rid of the dowels. Okay. So, the PD is asking us to get rid of our dowels. Take the flags off. Just hold the flags. We've got to get rid of them. They're going to ask the other side to do the same as well. So... Hi, no, you're fine, you're fine. The PD is asking us to get rid of our dowels. They're going to ask the other side to do as well. It's a weapon. I know, I'm sorry. I love my flags. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. You heard it rumbling that you were going to do that. Right, right. They told us that, they told me that last night. I was in contact. Uh, I'm live streaming. Do you mind if I just get, get you guys real fast? Can you tell us when you're live streaming? Oh, okay, sure. What's that? Share your live streamer. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Roxana Hall, R O X A N N A H A L L on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm from Zimbabwe. Oh, wow. No, okay. I'm not. Okay, but that's okay. Okay. PBS wants to interview. Okay, uh, uh, PD is asking us to get rid of our Dallas yep. right now. They're asking everybody to put them back in their vehicles, so we need to do that. Uh, yes, yeah, the little ones, anything that can be used as a weapon, they're asking to put, a, put them away. Awesome. Okay, ABC News wants to interview me right now, so uh, we'll be doing that, I guess. And I lost my cup of coffee. So, the, the, the PD is asking us to uh, put them away. Okay, thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Okay, so who wanted to interview me? CBS. The Roseville Police CBS. Department for being here, for taking time out of their busy schedules. Thank you, Lee. Love you. Appreciate your help. Thank you, Lee. All right, I'm going to sign off for now, guys. Uh, Excuse me? Oh, I'm live streaming. Oh, I'm hi, live. Facebook. <laughs> You want to say hello? Hey, Facebook. How y'all doing? Go uh, to uh, Californians to impeach Brown and his sidekick, Gavin. Oh, right on. <laughs> I like this guy way. already. Under God, <laughs> right. indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. All right, so uh, I don't know who I want to talk to. USA! 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 I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Are you with ABC? Uh, 
I don't watch television. Well, there's an I. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm live streaming if you want to say why you're here. Uh, well, why are you wearing a helmet? I've been hit in the head before. Uh, what they do is they'll take frozen water bottles and they'll, they'll assault us with them. And a frozen water bottle, I'm a live streamer at the same time, is that okay? And get the cookie. Hey, bitch. Now the PD is is uh, making sure that they're uh, keeping it moving, and they are not coming over here to. Uh, they're not letting them cross the street, and they're not letting them uh, get over here and get confrontational with us. So, uh, as oath keepers, we were called. Me with this. Oh, I'm live streaming. And I'm letting everybody know that can't be here, of what's going on. And I always ask women to come out and help. <laughs> and tell me why you're wearing the helmet. I'm wearing the helmet because I've been hit in the head before. I did 20 years in law enforcement, and so it's to protect my melon. I, I'm currently retired, and so what the what we've come across is rocks, bottles, shards of glass, bricks, frozen water bottles. The frozen water bottles are used because uh, once it melts, there's like no evidence, you know. So they use the frozen water bottles, and they say it's just a thing of water. It doesn't hurt anybody because it'll, you know, unless you're live streaming or have it on video or something like that they can get away with that so uh, Oath Keepers was called uh, from ACT and asked for to help provide security and the reason that we're here is because uh, we're a buffer we're a buffer we are apolitical we do not take sides politically now what we do at home and how we vote is, is totally our own business but as a group we are apolitical we do not choose sides uh, when we were in Berkeley a couple month, a month or so ago, April, uh, uh, him and I were down in Berkeley uh, twice, and it didn't matter who had got hurt out on the line. It didn't matter if they were Antifa, if they were male, female, pro-Trump, anti-Trump. If they were hurt out on the line, we would grab them, bring them in, and triage them. And one of our guys actually stopped an Antifa girl from getting uh, beat down by somebody that wasn't happy with her. So will you be providing security over there as well? No, we're we're here for ACT and so uh, we're here, if, if we see one of the people from here assaulting one of them, we will stop it because it's uh, Rocky Hall. Rocky, R-O-C-K-Y? Yep, Rocky. Yes. I'm from Susanville, California, so Lassen County. Uh, I just retired after 20 years in law enforcement. It's loud. <laughs> Are you with Al? I'm sorry, your name is Al. Alameda County, Oak Yes. And Yes. Sorry, it's right here. What's the deal here? We've got three different corners and three different groups. What's happening here? Well, so like Rocky uh, mentioned, like, uh, Oak Keepers National Guard all over the country. They've got these rallies all across the nation. Is ACT anti-Muslim? No, ACT is against Sharia law. Right? Sharia law, which is the greatest of women and all that kind of thing. So, like you said, we don't take sides on that. Uh, the only thing we look at when we decide to go out is you know, to give space to somebody is that they're going to give us a lot of the lives that it's about to do. So we're supposed to be the Constitution, let's go to the police and, and keep it in our own time. Like Rocky said, they're retired military, police are the locked up in the military, police, uh, other first responders that have all taken a notice of ours. Do you and anticipate so, any, I, I know Rocky's got the helmet on just in case because she's had some issues with her brother. Do you anticipate violence today? I hope not. I, I certainly hope not. So we've got our eyes open to, to look for things. So we hope the Oakville Police Department has jumped up and said they're going to have a, a good presence today. And you can see that they are. There's not only the people on the street corner, a squad, but they've got cars running all over the place today. What do you think about the outcome today? I'm hoping that the, the perfect outcome today is that everybody stays on their corners. There's no confrontation. We all have our peace. And when we yes. up, we all go home safely and we're done with it. I was in touch with the uh, Roseville PD yesterday 
and so they know who we are, why we're here, and I made contact with them over there. I let them know who I am and who I'm in contact with, with their police department as well. And so Oath Keepers is retired law enforcement and as such, so we have their back too. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, you saw how that interview went, and uh, did anybody spit in my coffee? <laughs> I, I got my coffee. So uh, the guys are here, they're, they're guarding my coffee too. These guys got my back. Uh, do you want to say why you're here, what you're doing here? and Making sure that everybody has free speech, pretty much. And Protecting everybody, and we don't need to real law here. And you're also a medic? Uh, CLS. CLS? Okay, so if, uh, were you in Berkeley? Yeah. And what happened in Berkeley with your, with your CLS, uh, medical response teams? A lot of people got injured, struck with uh, wooden dowels, basically closet rods that Berkeley PD took away from us, but didn't take away from Antifa. Antifa hit people with skateboards, M80 bombs. Um, so you triaged anybody that was injured? At that time, I did not. I was a detail to security. Okay, okay. But, yeah, there were many others who did. People in our group were triaging. The guy you got hit with the bike lock was triaged by one of our people. Right, I remember that. And the guy that hit him was actually a professor at, yeah, at, at UC fine. Berkeley. Right, he was identified. Uh, the, the, the guys got online, all these guy online and went through thousands and millions of pictures and identified that guy and who he was so that was awesome too and but I, I want to say that it didn't matter who was uh, who was hurt if they were Antifa or what Antifa our guys I don't care I'll, I'll help them it's right yep this is what it comes down to a person needs help and they get help yeah and I heard that uh, one of our guys stopped an Antifa girl from being harmed as well I didn't hear about that yeah, I heard that earlier. So, yeah, he said that she she was down and he helped get her up and she was being, you know, being assaulted. So, yep, yeah, that's what we do, right? Anything you want to say to the American people? Uh, God bless America. Right? Yeah. So, uh, our guys have been really good about getting rid of the dowels and everything. It looks like we need to go back through. The PD has asked us to ask everybody to get rid of the dowels and, and, and things on the flags. If we could uh, get somebody to go around and ask them to to get rid of them, they're going to do it on the other side too. So we need to get rid of all these, okay. all these. Uh, I don't let them know. Yeah, yeah. Was it you that, that, that was supposed to be talking to media? We were shit forty, and I know. Uh, I guess so. And because then, I asked him, and he's like, "Oh, you got to talk to her. She's saga thirteen. So. Oh well, yeah. I don't watch television. Oh, okay. So, you know, I wouldn't know you from Adam. Oh, so, okay. I'm live streaming as well. Oh, yeah, so am I. Do okay. you mind we chat with you? Just... You betcha. Let's, uh... Let that guy get set up here. You bet. No worries. Uh, that system sure beats mine. <laughs> I'm always waiting for you guys to not look and I'll steal your camera. Oh, is that right? No, I'm teasing. I'm keep teasing. An <laughs> keep an eye on the camera. Can I get I, your first and last name real quick? Uh, my first name is Rocky, R-O-C-K-Y, last name Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, and I'm with Lassen County Oath Keepers. Uh, I've been with Oath Keepers for several years now, and, and we do events like this. Uh, we were asked to come. Oath Keepers goes wherever they're asked to go. Uh, to help provide security and what we do is uh, we're a buffer and Oath Keepers are retired law enforcement, military, reserves, active. Uh, I'm, I'm retired after 20 years so uh, we come out here and, and it's just freedom of speech. I was in Berkeley twice. Uh, I've done a lot of different events, but uh, I wear the helmet because I don't like to be hit in the head. Uh, you know, after 20 years, you know, and Antifa is using rocks, bottles, frozen water bottles, uh, bricks, sticks, skateboards, and the such. So uh, I'm over 50. I don't need to be hit in the head, you know. So are, do you affiliate with this group? Do you support their message of uh, anti-Sharia? 
I believe that they're not anti-Sharia. What I was told about this group is that they're against a Sharia law and how it violates women. And as a woman, you know, I'm not real good with you guys telling me what to do with my body. <laughs> That's a personal opinion. Oath Keepers is apolitical. We do not we do not pick sides. We do not pick sides. Uh, if we were asked to help provide security for them, uh, we would probably be a little hesitant. Now, the ones across the street over there, the ones that are a little more uh, passive and are just there for freedom of speech, and if they asked us to come and help protect them, we would probably take it into consideration because they're just there exercising their right to free speech, and that's what Oath Keepers is about, is just protecting those that want free speech, and that's what we did in Berkeley. And so why come out when we have the police here that are they're supposed to be doing that, that are supposed to be the... We haven't had good luck with the police doing their jobs. Roseville PD, I'm going to give them kudos because they're on it. They're on top of it. When we were in uh, Portland, Oregon the other day uh, with that event up there, Portland PD did a very good job. Uh, Berkeley PD did not. The first event that happened with the Milo incident down there, they did not do their jobs. Uh, they kind of get an F on the report card. The second time was a little better, and the third time was even better than that. They actually did a, a, a lot better. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm still live streaming. <laughs> I'll live stream you. <laughs> so, uh, we... Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. Not at all. Awesome. Which way is the camera? This way? Yep, it sure is. And so, Berkeley PD, the first time we, we were there, they didn't do a good job. They didn't have on the report card. <laughs> Understatement. Uh, they, yeah, I was there. Okay, and so the second and third time, I would say the third time was better. We tried to call them, shame them, do whatever we could. They actually stood by and watched people get assaulted. That's unacceptable. That's not acceptable. It doesn't matter if they're Antifa, it doesn't matter if they're pro Trump, anti Trump. So, watch how other Americans get like that. question is you would protect the other side if they asked you as well if someone from over here went over there would you try and stop them if they went yes. over there and by yes. all means yes our guys are told to be non-confrontational uh if you see an oath keeper anybody wearing an oath keeper shirt or anything like that being confrontational oh let me know because they're going to be asked to do we're here to be a buffer we're here to provide security for these people that want to do free speech and we're here as a, as a buffer between law enforcement and these guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's going to be drawn out on the edge. But I appreciate it. And I got your first and last name, right? Rocky Hall. Rocky Hall. H-A-L-L. H-A-L-L. -L. Thanks, Rocky. You're welcome. Thank you so much. No, no worries. Awesome. Thanks, brother. Hey, you want to say anything? Uh, I think you were actually recording yourself. Oh, you said no. I was oh, no, no, no. That. You're right. You're right. right. You want to say anything? Hey, brothers, we got to fight the good fight and uh, keep everyone in prayer that's dealing with this, and God bless all. Awesome, awesome. And and where are you from? Uh, why are you here? I'm from Placerville. Uh, I'm down here because 
like a lot of us, we need to make a point that a lot of this stuff that's going on right now is not okay with what's going on with our Governor Brown, who's a corrupt criminal, with the Second Amendment rights, and now this uh, immigration junk that he's pulling. Sharia law, forget it. Bad juju. For any of you people who know about the, what's going on with the Muslims, Sharia law needs to not even be a question in our country. So people do the research. Find out what it is that you're talking about when you want to okay some of this stuff. Stay away from the mainstream media. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Do the research. Stay away from the mainstream, mainstream media because as we have seen over the last two years, it's come out how much they're lying about the truth. So it's very simple. Google it. Do the real research. Find out about who Donald Trump is. Go Find to out. some alternative media sources. Exactly. And then verify that source to make sure it's a reliable source. Yep. I'll spend hours. I'll find five on a particular subject matter. I will find five sources and then I'll verify those sources are worth a darn. So that's what we have to do. And then when you do that, I promise you, you'll find out things are not what you may think they are. Exactly. Exactly. I uh, appreciate it, man. I appreciate no you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, these guys with the flag poles, they've been told several times to get rid of the poles, and almost everybody over here has. Can I speak to you? Yeah, we've told those guys to get rid of those poles, uh -huh. and so those, well, I think we've got four left. So I'm going to turn here's, this here's off. The deal. Based on